Hello, everybody. I'm Eran Baidemir, and I'm a product manager at AWS. In this video, we are going to take a look at the preview of SQL Notebooks interface in Amazon Redshift Query Editor version 2. In Query Editor version 2, you can easily organize your relevant queries by saving them together in a folder or combining them into a single saved query. The multi statement query support allows you to run all the statements in a saved query at once. With the preview of the SQL Notebook support, we are introducing a new way of managing multiple queries for a particular task or analysis. You can embed your queries in a single notebook using SQL cells, and you can also document your work by adding rich text content using Markdown language. Let me start with creating a new notebook to perform an analysis on the sample ticket dataset. This dataset contains some sample data of a fictional website where users buy and sell tickets online for sporting events, shows, and concerts. I will first run some select queries to explore the tables that contain the data to be analyzed. SQL Cell support multi-statement queries just like our traditional SQL editor. I can switch between the results by clicking on the result tabs. And in the next cell, I will create a temp table to store the data that I'll be using in my analysis. While I'm working on SQL cells, results from the previous query executions are retained on the screen. So I can always use them as reference for writing queries. My table is created and the rows are added. And I create another cell and check the content of this temp table. I continue my analysis in a new cell, checking the standard deviation of the category types by states. And I run another query to see the breakdown of buyer and seller profile matches by each state. I can use the run all button here to sequentially run each cell in my document, or I can use the run button inside the cell, or just use the keyboard shortcut to execute the statements in the focus cell. In this example, I need to create and populate my temp table only once for each session, because temp tables live through the session and destroyed after the database connection is closed. So I will run this cell only once at the beginning of my analysis, and I do the rest of my work in the following cells. Changes in notebooks are automatically saved. I can rename my notebook by clicking on the rename button, or I can jump to the notebook section to see my notebook and rename it there. Here, I have another notebook named Customer Churn ML. Let me open this one by double clicking on it. As you can see, this notebook contains a more complicated flow. I added some documentation in it using Markdown cells so that others can easily understand what these queries are for and how they should be working. In this cell, I initially created a table and then copied some data into it. Then I create a machine learning model using the create model command that will predict the churn flag in this data set. I can click to run all button to run all cells sequentially. But first, I want to check if I previously created this table and train a model for it. Great, my model and table are still there and I don't currently need to run all these cells. I can jump to inference and analysis steps for this data set. Before that, I will just update the first markdown cell here and add a note for other users to check for the model and the sample table before trying to run all the flow from the beginning. I have added all the work to be done to run a machine learning flow on the Redshift, from creating a table to importing data, creating the ML models, and running inference queries. Now I'm ready to share this notebook with my team. Similar to how you share saved queries in Query Editor version 2, all I need to do 
is to turn on the sharing by clicking on this toggle here. My team members now have all the relevant SQL work in the same document, including the context that I've provided using Markdown cells. And that was how you can quickly create and work on SQL notebooks in Query Editor version 2. Thanks for watching.